Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Big Stack McGee here with another silver video for you. Um, just a quick unboxing tonight of a package uh, I ordered off eBay. But before I get to that, I just wanted to take an opportunity to thank those of you that watched my video on why I stack silver. Um, There's just some great responses uh, to it, and it just made me feel real proud to be a member of the silver community here on YouTube. And um, I don't know, we just, it's so great the support that we have, as well as the, the education and the, the knowledge base, I guess that's there. And I'm just, I'm just really eager to get a stack as many ounces as I can right now, especially with what's going on in the economy. And um, I'm happy to say that we'll have many unboxings this month. I have, I'm planning on at least three or four. Got another package uh, for, of eBay, some junk silver coming. Um, I also received word just today that the Silver Bullet Silver Shield order that I made back in January finally shipped. I'm actually quite uh, quite eager to get that one. That was just a small one, just one Slave Queen and one Freedom Girl, but i uh, been waiting quite a while for that, so I'm excited to get that into my hands. I also have an order from Gold Mart with um, some Engelhard and Johnson Matthey uh, Silver Bullion Bars coming. And just today, I also, um, if you happen to be watching this and you're interested in uh, Engelhard Bars, Provident Metals um, just got back in stock, some of their 10-ounce poured bars. Um, so I had to snatch one of those up. We had set an email alert for when those came in, and I was uh, lucky enough to be able to snag one. So that's on the way as well. So lots of unboxings to come. At any rate, let's get right to it. Um, this one, if I remember correctly, is just some generic rounds. Well, I shouldn't say they're generic, really. Well, I'll explain that in just a second. Let me just get this open here. All right. Well, this is going to bring up, uh, I'm sure, a controversial uh, topic. But what I got here, if you can see, is a couple of these. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and call them generic silver rounds right now. But for those of you that have been following things this last couple of years, you may recognize these as uh, what some have labeled Liberty Dollars. And... Um, I remember reading just a couple months ago that the Secret Service contacted uh, eBay to tell them to stop sales of these. But this one somehow got through and I saw them and uh, this is one of those, it just showed up as a buy it now and I snatched it up right away. Um, let me get one of these out and we can take a look here. These are in actually really nice condition. All right, so let me tell you what I what I know about them, and some of you can probably uh, uh, help out with some of the comments if you know anything more. But the Liberty Dollar was uh, originally created by a man named I believe it's Bernard Nordhaus, and um, who is con <laughs> currently in custody in Florida. Um, he was labeled a domestic terrorist for developing a competitor to um, United States currency. At least that was the charges against him. He was found guilty um, in 2009 and has been awaiting a sentence ever since, kind of on house arrest. Um, <laughs> domestic terrorists, I don't think so. Um, but yet the, the FBI don't think too highly of him and what he made here. Um, I think their big beef... It's the, what makes this more than just a silver round is the fact that uh, he on the back, if you look here, yeah, calls itself a Liberty Dollar, gives it a price of $10, a value of $10 of uh, fiat currency. And, um, and then right there at the bottom, $10. I think that's their big problem. It's just, uh, you know. Um, the organization that Nordhaus started... It was called NORFED, and NORFED stood, um, let's see if I remember, the National Organization for the Repeal of the Federal Reserve and Internal Revenue Code. All right, let's take a closer look here. It's actually a really well-struck coin. I mean medallion. It's a medallion. <laughs> I guess that's what got some of those guys in trouble. 
Что это? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and add these to the stack. Guys, if you have any kind of opinion on the whole Norfed business, the Liberty Dollar or the court case, go ahead and leave a comment below. It'll add to our knowledge and, if nothing else, inspire some great conversation. This is Big Stack McGee, and just remember, it doesn't matter if you stack them high or stack them deep, as long as you keep on stacking. You guys have a great night.